In this video, I am going to discuss IGCSE Music June 2018, paper 12, the B1 and B2 section. Now, by now, we know that this is your world music, and it will be of two different parts of the world that you have to study. So know the instruments and their sounds, and know all the features of the world music of the different parts. So let's look at the questions. Now, we do not have a lot of questions with four marks that they allocate for one question. So this looks like a very important question. And then on this world music, we have another part that is where does this music come from? And what is the text? How is the text typical of music from this part of the world? B1, you will hear an extract from a piece for voice and instruments. Read through the questions 9 to 10. Complete the table below. Name the melody instrument. So we will have a melody instrument there and a percussion instrument and describe the music they play. So the example they give you here, a male voice singing the main melody and improvising. So is this instrument also improvising? Does it play in another melody? Does it um, play heterophonically with, with a male voice? Is it copying or imitating this? That's all words that you can use when you describe this. And the percussion instrument, the name. And is it a rhythm that is improvised? Um, and then you can discuss the music. The moment that you know where this music comes from, you know exactly what this instrument will play. Maybe you know the name of the rhythmical pattern. And how is the texture typical of music from this part of the world? So let's listen to the music so that we can hear where this music is from. <laughs> Now, there's only one part in the world where this music can come from that you need to study because I heard that te texture in the music and that's typical of the part of music that you have to hear and, and to identify. So I'm sure that you could hear that this music comes from a specific part and now listen to that melody instrument and I'm sure that you will hear it copies and imitates the voice that you hear. Now that type of singing I Music call carnatic singing. So let's listen again. <laughs> you hear sounds like a violin so let's look at that instrument and the percussion instruments now this is the melodic instrument that i heard and that this is the sarangi the sarangi is a small melodic instrument which is bowed and has no frets this instrument is played and sounds similar to the violin and i heard that it sounds like a rough violin it is said to be most to most resemble the voice and the sound of the uh, the sound of the human voice so it's got a gentle tone and it's able to imitate vocal ornaments and that is what this instrument did it copied um, and 
imitated the voice. So it played heterophonically. So that is what you could have written there. This is the sarangi playing. It copied the voice um, and it imitated and it played heterophonically because it shared the same melodic material with the voice. The percussion instruments um, that I heard there was a set of tabla drums and they play the tala. So the rhythmical cycle that they have is the tala and the tabla player improvises around the beat of the tala. So he improvised, he plays the percussion and uh, the tabla is a pair of two small tuned drums. That is not important now. What you had to do there is to say that the tabla played the tala and he improvised the rhythm. So that's what we had here. And I'm sure that you could identify this, this music is from India. And the texture that we have there is the drone. We always have a drone in Indian music. Indian music, you always have a melody, that's the raga, always have a rhythm, the tala, and the texture is a drone. So we have a drone there, the rhythm I call a tala, the scales and the melody. Um, the melody is the raga, so that is a scale and the melody together. Okay. Singers also perform Indian music. Carnatic singing has a lot of decoration, and we heard that just now. The melody is all important and linear. And the instruments that you have to know for, for Indian world music is the sitar, the tabla we heard now, the sarangi is the one that sounds like the violin, the bansuri flute, the tampura drone, and improvisation within a well-defined structure. So that's one of the things that you could have written was improvisation. The texture is always melody and accompaniment. That also is a correct answer. And I have the drone. No fixed pitch. I always have three elements in Indian music. Melody, drone and rhythm. And tradition is oral. Oral and the teaching. I have a guru. I listen to the guru. I imitate and I memorize. And the harmony. There's no real harmony in Indian classical music. If you're unsure about Indian music, I will um, add this um, link and, and copy it into the description box that you can go through this. <laughs> Instrument is the sarangi, copy and imitates the voice, playing heterophonically. I hear the tabla, playing the tala, improvising a rhythmical accompaniment. Music comes from India, and most Indian music has a texture of melody and drone. So that is the texture, melody and drone. Now let's look at the music of P2. You will then extract from an instrumental piece and let's read through the questions. The first half of the extract is an example of call and response. What instrument plays the call? So that is the solo instrument there. Briefly describe the music of the call and response. So I would describe the music of the call and the music of the response and maybe you have more instruments joining, mention that, okay, and the type of music that the call will um, have and the response will have. What is the texture of the second half of the extract? What tradition does this music belong to?
instrument um, sounded a little bit like a guitar. So where in the world will you hear this type of instrument? And I heard tones smaller than a semitone. It sounded as if I have quarter tones and quarter notes in this tradition. And if you listen to this again, try now to listen to the music of the core and the response. I can hear that the core instrument plays the whole time, so but I would also mention it here. There the texture is heterophonically. Everybody plays the melody high and low in their own style. You can hear that this music comes from the Arab world, Northern Africa. And that was the oud playing. So let's look at the mark sheet now. The instrument that you heard was the oud, that was the solo instrument. A group of instruments plays the response. The solo yes, phrases seem the last improvised, different each time, more elaborate. So the solo must be a little bit more technical than the rest. Answering phrases are usually the same and then repeated. And you will see here that the good plays the whole time. That you hear is heterophonically, it plays in octaves. Okay? And this music comes from the Arab world, say Middle East or North Africa. And so, this is quite an important question this four marks for instrument and music. Let's go back to music B1. And this when you identify this first instrument, write the name of the instrument and discuss how it is played or how it um, plays the melody. Is it copying? Is it imitating? Do you hear a, another melody? Do you hear it's different? So that's where you get your mark. You get mark, one mark for the instrument and one mark for describing the music. Your percussion instrument will be there. That's another mark. And then name, okay, name of the instrument and discuss the music. What do you call the rhythmical pattern? Now we know this was from India. You know the name of that rhythmical pattern is the tala. And what other features do you know of this world music? The tala is improvised. So this is what you had to write there. And the other question with quite a lot of marks. Briefly describe the music of the call and response. Now the call is the soloist, that's the ut that started. Um, and the solo phrase is, is improvised okay, and different every time. And it's more elaborate. It's got a wider variety of note lengths um, where the response is usually the same kind of answering phrase. So I've got call and answer. So you must say that the response answers the soloist okay and the response you can hear is repeated this, the same almost every time and i would also mention that the oud plays throughout the call and re the response so if you have any problem with this just go through the videos that i've made on the arab world good luck with your studies